in the news now is something very unique that proves that the days of political parties are numbered. And this is something that I've been fighting for, for for a very long time. Our political system needs to completely change to a place where we can vote for individuals. And the hashtag direct elections campaign has done exactly that. And not the fake direct elections that so many people proclaim, but direct elections under a new constitution, a new political system, where we can elect our president directly, we can elect our MPs directly, we can elect our mayors directly and our councillors directly, so that we can hold them accountable and get rid of them if we need to. And also change the governance system to one where we are more democratic, because at the moment, the only democratic thing you can do is make a cross at the ballot box. And after that, political parties run everything. And if you aren't supporting a political party that wants to change the system and get rid of political parties, you are making a grave mistake. But let's go into the news now, which specifically speaks about something that I've covered in depth before the Concord resolution or judgment saying that political parties need to tell the public that uh, they are who they are receiving funds from and how much funds they actually receive. And this needs to be able to be audited. And once the constitutional court gave that ruling, it was then up to parliament to come up with a bill that was passed eventually. I'm not happy with what's in the bill because they say that you need to disclose if you're receiving a donation of 100,000 rand or more. And because of this, more people will be scared to actually just fund political parties. And if you if you don't want to fund a political party, you can fund this generic fund that they will then distribute what they call it equitably when it's not. They, they would actually distribute that money, not evenly between the parties. They will distribute most of the money to the party with the most seats. And that is not equitable. It has nothing to do with democracy. It's an absolute farce. And this is one way of how they try to circumnavigate the system. But this backfired because this general fund only got one donation from one person. And I'll mention his name earlier. And he donated 2000 Rand. This is how much people are interested in giving money towards parties. But what most people don't know is that your taxpayers money is funding parties that are represented in government right now. They actually get money out of your pockets even if you don't support them. And this has to change. There's so many things that has to change, including the our justice system, our school system, it's endless. But let's get started into this article and it's, it's a live running commentary where it says on News24, only three political parties, the ANC, DA and Action SA declared the nations of over 100,000 rand to the IEC, okay? But what is interesting here is that the total value of these declared donations were 30 million. That's peanuts in party funding and donations. It's nothing, okay? The ANC declared individual donations received of 10,720,000, at least I can read the numbers, while the DA declared 15,983,751 rand and 48 cents, just to be accurate. And Action SA declared total direct donations amounting to 3,305,090 rand and 26 cents. So Action SA, the DA and ANC declared amounts, uh, their total amounts donated and that they have received amounts of more than 100,000 rand each. And during this reporting period, there was only one solitary donation to the multi-party democracy fund. This can be anonymous. So when you donate to parties and you donate more than 100,000 rand, you are supposed to disclose who you are in this new bill. But when you donate to this, uh, <coughs> this uh, fund, then you don't have to disclose who you are. They call it this uh, solid, uh, the... Um, the democracy fund, okay, the multi-party democracy fund, where they would so-called distribute the money equitably. This donation was made by a member of the public, Mr. Paul Malcolm Graham, who is now famous, who made a contribution of 2,000 Rand on the 5th of May 2021. So 2021, according to the IEC, Graham was very proud of his support for multi-party democracy and waived his right to anonymity. Okay, so he wanted to... 
to make it known who he is. And he has absolutely has a right to do that and to feel the way that he does. The IEC also took the opportunity to appeal to the members of the public and corporates to open their purses and to support the efforts of the multi-party democracy. So they want corporates to donate towards this fund. Well, obviously, this isn't taken off very well. And this is why the parties are sitting in the predicament that they're sitting in now. Because their funding has plummeted. In the past, the DA spent on their final election campaign events up to 30 million rand on one event because they have to bus all the people in. They have to organize all the massive staging, sound and everything else. It, it would, those events would cost a fortune. And now they're getting half that amount. Half that amount in the past year. That's for the DA. I mean, for the ANC to re receive 10 million rand a year. Uh, I don't know how they're paying their workers. They must be getting uh, money from somewhere that they're not declaring because I don't know how they're running the Latuli house on this. But what this says is the days of parties are over. People are not funding them anymore like they used to. These local or government elections are going to be interesting. And the 2024 national elections, that is when we're going to see the real crux of the direction of the work that we've been doing on the ground, and we're going to start seeing the fruits of that bearing off. And, you know, this weekend I'll be having a double days meeting, uh, a closed meeting where I vetted all the people that will be going to that meeting uh, somewhere in Cape Town. And the following weekend we will be uh, doing a Freedom SA event where people will come together and just spend time together. And the fact that 250 people are allowed outside now, that really helps, it makes a big difference. And the one thing that is important is that countrywide, there is a massive uprising of people that want to be free. And like I say, at the end of the day, no one person is above the law, but we all are the law. And as we're growing this critical mass, there's nothing and no one that can stop it. And in the end, freedom will win. And people will live with the risks that come with freedom. People have laid on their lives in their millions for freedom in the past. So you cannot expect to create a generation in a short period of time, especially in South Africa, that don't care about that freedom anymore. It's still very much ingrained in our DNA and the people of South Africa will fight back. This is why they will not be forced to do something. The moment people try to mandate something, the South African people will kick back and they are kicking back in their numbers in companies. People are resigning from their jobs. And this is these are choices they are making. These aren't decisions I'm making for them. Individuals are making decisions for themselves and they have a right to do that. And one thing that the powers that are trying to subvert our freedom need to understand is that we know that we are the power, we are the law, and we decide in the end what system we will be governed under. And the day of political parties are numbered. And I would recommend one simple thing. And when I start doing the series on the parties and what they stand for, that you make sure of one thing, that the party you support wants to get rid of parties and make sure that our leaders are directly elected and you can make those changes under the current constitution. It is absolutely possible and it is completely legal. And the IEC will support something like that any day. A lot of people are making the IEC out to be the fark in the feral, the, the problem with regards to the local government elections. When the IEC has just been doing what they've been assigned to do, they're a chapter nine institution. And it's disingenuous for parties that will soon be dead to blame them for their woes. What you are supporting is a dying breed. So DA, EFF, ANC, all of these parties, they want to stick to the current system. If you don't want to change, the system will change you and you won't have a choice anymore. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to join our live chat tonight at 8, then you can join as a member on this channel. It's going to be a bombshell uh, video and live chat. It's going to be really interesting. I'm really looking forward to it. And I really want to thank everyone that has become members of the WDS membership community and for all the wonderful messages that you're sending me. 
and I really look forward to meeting the people in Cape Town on the 18th of September at Monkey Valley for that hashtag Freedom SA event. And then I will announce other events around the country on the Garden Route in KwaZulu Natal, in Gauteng, and the other provinces. People that have venues, please contact me. Say that you have a venue available where we can gather um, and just have fun as a free group of people together. Thank you very much. Till the next video.